Hi guys and welcome to the first part of our series about materials where we want to bring you a bit more information about the different materials, uh, benefits, pros, cons, uh, different features so that you guys know a bit more uh, when it comes to making your decisions on your kitchen or your bedroom. This week we're going to be talking about laminate products or MFC. Uh, MFC stands for melamine faced chipboard. Now you might ask why MFC or, or laminate, why do you use that? It is an extremely hard wearing product because it's an engineered product. Uh, it is effectively laminated material that is bonded to chipboard core. It's really, really, it's scratch resistant, it's much tougher than natural wood, uh, and it's not gonna be as prone to banging, scratching, that sort of thing. So we usually advise in a bedroom especially, if you've got young kids, this is the way to go. We also use it for all of our kitchen carcasses. Now, when it's edged properly and bonded on all four sides uh, with, with this edging tape, it will become almost water resistant, so uh, wipe clean, uh, much easier to maintain, especially in a kitchen where you're spilling things in drawers, uh, uh, things of that nature. So it's a lot easier to look after in that way. So we tend to use it uh, for the carcasses. And also uh, it's, as I said, a more cost-effective product. So a lot of people don't want to spend big money on a, on a veneered carcass, a real wood carcass, where you're not going to see it. It's going to be behind the doors most of the time. So this is, is really the route to go for, for, for most people. One thing to note, uh, MFC when it gets really thin, so 6, 8 mil, uh, it gets a bit flimsy. So one thing to check when you're looking at your kitchen designer and you walk into a studio, open the cupboard door and push the back of the carcass and see whether there's any flex in the back. Now, as I said, an 18 mil carcass all the way around, you're not going to get that. This is, this is solid, this isn't going anywhere. But with a 6 mil back or even an 8 mil back, if you touch the back of that, you might see it flex a bit and you'll see that's not going to be sturdy and that's not going to be long lasting. So we work with two main brands, uh, but depending on your kitchen company or bedroom company, they might, might work with a few others. Uh, so the two main ones that we work with are Egger and Xyloclef. Now, as you can see from this weighty book, there are a lot of options, hundreds, hundreds of choices. Um, so the reason that we like Egger, uh, really, really wide choice of colours. You have everything from a matte finish to a gloss finish to a wood grain to a plain colour. They really cover all the bases. Uh, so this is sort of your price group one, as it were. A um, bit more cost effective, but really gives you a really wide variety. Uh, stepping up to Xyloclef. So a bit more deer. Uh, however, the finishes are a lot more out there. Uh, funky, some may say. They have things like um, houndstooth, like concrete finishes. It's a lot more variety. Uh, Quality-wise, you know, the product at its core is the same. It's still your chipboard uh, with your front and back uh, laminated face. But it's just about the finishes and the textures that you actually get on that sheet when it's done. Thanks for watching guys, tune in to the next part of this series where we talk about real wood and veneers, uh, but until then, hit the subscribe button, let us know in the comments if there's anything else you want to be watching, and thanks.